ambassador Raha Adekule of her name Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Put your hands together. Put your hands in not enough. Put your hands together for the ambassador. Put your hands together. I want that hand to last. I want it to last, please. We are not talking it. I want it to last. Don't put your hand in your pocket. I want the hand to last. Bread. 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 And ladies and gentlemen, you can see, you can see what is going on there. Men of credence, men of credence, greeting the ambassador, left and right, left and right. Hopefully, the ambassador is with the children and the beautiful wife. I don't have to say it. Use your eyes to judge. Very humble man. Very humble man. God will bless you. We miss you. God will bless you. Put your hands together. Even though I'm happy, it's like for me to cry. Let them bring him back to us. God will bless you. Very humble man. I never no segregation no segregation of whatsoever i walked this morning i have to go early from the hospital because of him i'm not supposed to but i have to sacrifice it i have to sacrifice it i am like to cry this man no segregation go him any time any day he is there for us he is there whether you are yellow back, whether you are a son, whether you are evil, no segregation, no sentiment, put your hands together. A man of prudence, a man of honor, a man of honor. Because of this occasion, eh? people coming from Berlin and also some people coming from Mines. Mines means Babel. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. We are well represented. We are well represented. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You may be seated. You may be seated.
He said, if you take that of enemies shall fall in right hand side, and the left hand shall not live. As we come to celebrate you, Heavenly Father is going to celebrate you. Father, we love you, but Jesus love you more. May the grace of God just by the power of Almighty God going to rest upon you and your family. All those that came, we should learn from our Father. I know those of you who have called me to try to pray in the picture of God. We should learn to be our brother if I love you. God love you more. Thank you. God bless you. Um, thank you so very much. A figure stands tall, professional powers heeding every call. With a heart so pure, his kindness prevails, diligent in his duties, every task he performs. Conscientious steps mark his noble stride, relatable and simple, never hiding behind pride. Intelligence shines through, he's a beacon of light. You never see a trace of arrogance in his sight. He is friendly and warm. His demeanor is so bright, respectful to all under every spotlight. His em empathic soul is emotionally aware of his surroundings. In every encounter, he's showing care. Here is an ode to a diplomat. He's em he embodied grace. In him, virtues converge, creating a sacred space, a testament to humanity in its finest form. In his presence, harmony is the norm. In the headquarters of his departure, we bid adieu to a consular general, noble and true. With grace and honor, you have led the way, completing your mission in the light of day. Your guidance and wisdom have become bright. You guided us through each challenge, day and night. With diplomacy touch, and you forged new path, leaving behind legacies that forever last. As you embark on journeys new and grand, we hold memories close, like grants of sand. Your leadership, sir, like a steady hand, guided us through every foreign issues. Farewell, dear Honorable Wahaba Kondi. With gratitude, we part with you. Your legacy engraved in, our, in each di diplomatic heart. May success follow wherever you roam. Amen. In the heart of those you touch, you will always find hope. Thank Amen. you, sir. We have the applause. Thank you so much. Rebecca, Obikule, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Wahab Adekwale Akande was born on the 5th of September, 1967. He had a secondary education at Eder Muslim Grammar School in the present day Oshun State from 1981 to 1986. He proceeded 
to the University of Ibadan, where he graduated from the Department of European Studies with a Bachelor of Art degree in French, second class of upper division. Between 1991 and 1992, he served under the Mandatory National Youth Service Corps, the NYC, the University of Georgia, before joining the Federal Civil Service. Wahab Adekola Kande is a Nigerian diplomat. He's known for his advocacy for cultural diplomacy and a long serving French language translator and protocol officer to several Nigerian presidents. The whole Nigerians will see this. The whole world will see this. Americans and Canada, United Kingdom. France, Belgium, they are seeing us today. So ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Solomon. He, he really made us proud and made the organ proud. God bless you, Solo. show and guess what we're in the city of Frankfurt on the occasion of the Sanford party of Ambassador Wahab Akonde live here in the city of Frankfurt and I have uh, beside me Ambassador Isaac Izoya what can you say about Ambassador Wahab Akonde and an outstanding ambassador we have ambassadors but there is an outstanding ambassador, and that ambassador is no other person than Wahab Akande. He has made a landmark in Frankfurt. He came to Frankfurt when Nigeria was, in fact, scattered, disunity all over. He came here to unite us, and that today we can stand as one Nigeria. In fact, we go to missing. It's, I mean, I wish there is something else we can do to keep in this country. You could see the turnout. I have never seen an ambassador so unknown with such a long, a large turnout as a center of party. And this is just a proof how this ambassador was been loved by many people right here in Frankfurt or in Germany. We go to miss it dearly. I mean, what else can I say? It's a pity, it's a barrack, you know. People come and go. That's see, you understand. I will we have the means to pay him down to remain here forever. It's quite unfortunate that he had to leave. We go to miss it dearly. Yeah. Wow, well, I think everybody is also like her uh, happy to have experienced him and uh, it's, it's actually a time to say congratulations to him and for a greater height because he must also move forward. You see, this is the, this, uh, what is happening today, I think it's going to be a lesson for both those upcoming or the ambassadors serving in different countries. If you are there as an ambassador, just have in mind you are there to serve the people, not to be worshipped. This must serve, especially when it comes to promotion of culture, promotion of culture, I repeat, culture. This man was here to promote Nigeria, to promote Nigeria culture, diplomacy, above every other thing. When it comes to Using Nollywood, for example, like we, who is it to Nollywood Film Festival and Nollywood Europe Golden Award. This man has always been at the forefront, making sure our dream comes true. The whole Nollywood is going to miss him as an industry. The whole creative industry is going to miss him, miss his ambassador. We're going to miss him dearly. I mean, he is he's leaving a big shoe which I don't know how upcoming ambassador is going to fit that shoe. We're going to miss him, sure. 
Thank you very much, sir. I'm Rachel Yasodo, and um, <laughs> I don't know. I have a lot of things to say about the um, the consulate, um, Mr. Wahab. He has been a wonderful man to us, even as students. He he made sure that we got um, our passports for free. He made sure that he took care of all of us. He called us. He listened to us. He 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 made sure that every of our problems were solved. And this is someone who actively, you know, does what we need in the community, he comes to us. It's not like we go to him. He says even if it's just two or three people, he would come and he means it and he does it. He's a man of his words, he's a man of action. This is a man who is dedicated, who is a father, and of course you know he's a husband and 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 um, and it's not only his children that he's fathering, he's fathering all of us. And it's so sad that he's going, but we are so happy that he's going to a more better place. And what we say is that we love him. I love you, sir. I love you from the depth of my heart. And we so much it said. And I pray that God keeps him, guides him, protects him, always leads him because he's a leader. He's not a boss. Um, and I pray that God continue leading him and take him in the rightful path. Thanks so much.
to celebrate satire. We're here to celebrate a great man. Okay, tell us tell us your name. My name is Emekani. So, uh, what can you say about this great man, Ambassador uh, Wahab Akonde? Well, you know what? Um, ambassador is a special gift to our people. You know, in the last couple of months, we had a controversial situation, which is the Nigerian election. And that controversial situation was about to pull our people against each other here. I call this man a magical man because in one way or the other, he succeeded in making it difficult for us to be against each other. He unified our people and brought us together. The simplicity, the humility he invests in our people, his 24-hour service to our people, I wish that what is happening here today could be sent to Nigeria so that the other people who are in the public service will redefine what it means to serve the people. He did not serve the people, he was our leader. And by the way, this is the first time we are sending off an ambassador here. That's a very special thing for him. And you see the number of people here. Every single individual here, he touched their lives personally privately, officially. And then, above all, he sanitized the consulate. He made it a decent place where every Nigerian walks in and is respected and taken care of. So many things I can say about this guy, at the time will not be enough. You know, sometimes people come and say, he's your personal friend. I say, no, he is my friend, but he is ready to take up your own friendship, call him. And when you call him, he returns the call, the middle of the night, anytime, 24 wow. 7. So he is a very special gift to us, and for me, it is a bittersweet situation. Never wanted to lose a man like this for our people, but I'm happy. I hope he's going for higher heights because that's exactly what the civil society in Nigeria requires at this point in our development. Wow, that's the really uh, commending, and this is really beautiful to hear. So, what are you wishing him? I wish him higher heights and more work for our people. I wish him more responsibilities for our people. You know, at a point, I would have said, keep him for us here. We don't want to miss him. But I know that our nation is on the lifeline. Our nation is on the intensive ward. We need people like him. We need people, selfless people like him, to rejuvenate the potentials of our people and give essence to the single talents that our people are endowed with. I think that's the realization of our nationhood. That's the guy we need. 
Wow. Somebody was just talking about making him the president of the country. I'm not sure yet, but you know what? He's good to go. He's possible. <laughs> Everything is possible. He's like good he to go. He's good to go. Thank you so much, Doc. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Shut smart man. So we have the coach of the offhand in the Yugen of Thailand, in person of Mr. Benjamin James. Uh, I call him Coach Benjamin. So what can you say about uh, Ambassador Wahab Akonde? Uh, Ambassador Wahab Akonde is exceptional. It's unique. I don't know how to describe him, but I, when I had contact with him, it was my, I came with my uncle then for his passport issues and uh, I met him. The way he handled the matter and the way he treats uh, Nigerians coming to the embassy is unique. So I think he's a special and a, he's, he's special and a godsend to Frankfurt. All I have to say is God-fearing man and he's unique. Is unique. So that's why you're here to celebrate him. I have to be here. I have a game. I'm supposed to go and see some players, but I said I have to be here because he's so special to me. We must say congratulations to him. Then he is congratulations to him. I hope the next ambassador is coming. He has to follow his legacy, so we can appreciate him as well. Hopefully. Hopefully. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, so we have um, Engineer Aguna Abu here. Engineer, so what can you say about uh, Ambassador Wahab Akonde? Um, thank you, uh, Adani Omar, first of all. Our good journalist in Germany. Um, anyway, first of all, before answering about uh, um, our ambassador, our good ambassador, uh, my name is uh, Engineer Chief Engineer Ben Lamwebier. The Aguna Abo. Um, our ambassador is a very good man. And why do I know this? Because I was the one that brought him to the Frankfurters. Wow. Yes. And when he was here, just a few days, I invite him to Igbo African um, uh, Summer Agri. And then uh, he was very happy. And that was the first point where we know that this man is a very good man. And then, one thing he did that he said, wow, this is beautiful, we're going to repeat this. And that's where now we have a Nigerian-German cultural festival. Not just only that. It happened now that people feel very comfortable with this man. Anyway, in to avoid me speaking much, this man is exceptional. And when I was say that someone is exceptional, truly, He's exceptional. Wow, that's great. So it's a big congratulations to him, and we wish him also greater height. What are you wishing him, though? Um, for example, the diaspora uh, has, has always been contributed to Nigerian good affair. And then people have already even approached me that we're going to make this man a president. <laughs> yeah. Well, it may sound so ambitious, but trust me, it's possible. With God, all things are possible, so I wish him the very best. He's a good man. Take, just take this from me. He's a good man, that's all. Thank you so much, Agunabo. Thank you, sir.
5.30 a.m. in the morning and I saw them waiting to receive me. You know, from that time, you know, the love started, the connection started and then you can see today that um, we've been a family, you know, and that is the spirit. Nigeria, you heard when the, the, the president of uh, Indigo in Germany, when he was talking, he said some people uh, 
proud not to have anything to do with the Nigerian Embassy yeah. again. But when I got here, with um, the community engagement, we all came back to the, com to the, to the community. And they are even the one leading all the activities now. This which means, you know, nothing, nothing uh, is wrong, like you said, with the country, with our country. It's a leadership. A leader must take the lead and uh, the people will follow. And that's what we, we tried to do in the past um, three years that we have been here. And I want to thank our people. You know, like I said, it takes two to tango. If you uh, have a plan and the people don't support you, if you want to tango, there's nobody to tango with, you won't succeed. So all this praise that is coming to me is also going back to them because we did it together. It's not just me, it's we, you know, and it's the country, it's Nigeria that we are celebrating today. We will say congratulations and we wish you success and we pray that... Uh, Within a short time, you will be recognized in Nigeria and globally by God's grace. Amen. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. We Thank love you. you. Thank you. We love you, too. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you. For the efforts that you do all the time, too. Yes. You are also a, you are also a leader. You are an exemplar. Anytime you have something to come, you deploy your energy, your time, you know, your money, and everything. So you are also a leader. In this place, please give them attention.
I was there in my house. I said, my house, my house is the headquarters of the Indian culture in Germany. Come <laughs> on. 
My name is Gasa Olani Waju Babalola. So what can you say about Ambassador Akonde? You see, I really appreciate what he has done during his period as ambassador in Frankfurt here. You know, I have demanded not to not to do anything concerning Nigeria, you know, but his own character, his dreams, his performances, his activities. I really, 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 I really appreciate it. Of it has it has changed my mind. But I, I pray for him anywhere he goes, anywhere he lives, with his family, anywhere he say, I pray for the head for his head and for the family to be in good health to be in good condition and to see and to get the reward of what he has done. Because if you don't show, you cannot read. Yeah. That's what he has done. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So tell us your name, sir. My name is Bolaji Agbola. So Mr. Bolaji, what, what can you say about Ambassador Wahab? Yeah, Ambassador Wahab came and conquered. Uh, he's been here, it's been a great pleasure to all Nigerians and friends of Nigeria. Um, we hope that the predecessor will also be able to walk, even not uh, in his shoes, but at least he will be able to also uh, do something that will move um, the community because we need such an effort. Um, Ms. Uh, Ambassador Wahab Akombia has done a great job that is going to be hard for anybody to represent or to replicate. And uh, in his journey in life, we all we wish him all the best in his journey. We will miss him dearly and we pray that uh, God will also make uh, the predecessor be able to give us something that we can also celebrate like we are celebrating our outgoing uh, Consul General. Thank wow, you. Wow, interesting. So what are you wishing him? I'm wishing him all the best of luck in life. I'm wishing him all the goodness in life because like you can hear everybody saying, you can call him 12 a.m. in the morning, call him 6 a.m. in the morning. As long as he has the opportunity, he will definitely call you. I mean, he will definitely pick up your call and uh, give you words of advice. And uh, he's also always trying to help people mediate in things that he's not even supposed to do. That's how people are close to him. Normally we've had a uh, different uh, consul general, they've just been official. But he went out of his own way to communicate with Nigerians and that is why you see us celebrating him like this today. Wow, thank you very much sir, for your time. You're thank welcome. You, yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. We are all here to say thank you. Amongst all that people have said today, I want to also appreciate your dear wife. For behind every successful man, there is a pillar. By the side, by the side. Congratulations, sir. Thank you so much. And we want to give you this photo of the to say thank you. Once more, so we appreciate you. We wish you greater height as you move from here. Thank you so much. And let's and gentlemen, put your hands together. Put your hands together. Why right there?
another gift from us, but um, we are not going to unbelt this. It's a stack of cash. So if you want to know how much is Father Excellency to the house. <laughs> I'm grateful to all of you for this honor. I was telling someone that my gratitude, as a matter of, uh, as, uh, as a matter of fact, started from the first day I arrived this country. I remember when I arrived this country, it was 5.30 a.m. in the morning. But at that ungodly hour, I met a group of Nigerian community waiting to receive me at the airport. At 5.30 a.m., I have never seen that in my 31 years of diplomatic service. That people will come at 5.30 a.m. to receive a diplomat. I have never seen it. So that, I have kept it here that this must be good people for them to sacrifice their sleep, their time, energy, everything to come and receive me at 5.30 a.m. I have not forgotten it. And I was looking for a way to say, since these people receive me like this, how will I try not to disappoint them? So from the one, I told myself, I must, and God, please help me not to disappoint these people how to pay back the love because that is love that is love that they have demonstrated they have showed me and i'm happy that today what we're seeing is that the love was not just one side it also was reciprocated so I want to say, you know, there was one, there is one, um, one politician, one governor of Imo State, Kwele um, Okorocha Rochas. He used to address his people. He would say, "My people, my people." But since I'm not an elected public official, I'm a civil servant. I will not say my people, my people. I will say my brothers, my sisters. Because we are brothers and sisters of one family. And that family is Nigeria. Um, a short while ago, when the president of um, Indigo in Germany, NIG, when he was making his remark, he said something very profound. He said, before my arrival, there are some people that vowed not to have anything to do with Nigerian mission, Nigerian embassy again, because of the disappointment they have received. And today, he said those people are back to have things to do with the embassies and the community. So we thank God. Thank you, sir. You know, the leader, he also said something there. The leader must take the lead for his people or his staff to follow. So the, the position and the role, the responsibility of the leader is very key. And he, said, he also said something that 
it shows that nothing is wrong with us. Nothing is wrong with our country. Is what is wrong is the leadership. With the correct leadership, there is nothing we cannot achieve. Because the people are ready. Look at what we've been able to demonstrate here. You show the way you lead, the people will follow. So please, I want to thank you all. I'm, I'm so grateful for the support, because they say it takes two to tango. If you want to tango, there's no, nobody that follows you to tango, you can't tango. So all the lofty ideas we brought to you people. I remember Double Lion said it again here. When he first invited me to that event of uh, Obigo, Frankfurt, and I saw the crowd, I saw our people, I saw the culture, I saw how we were united. I remember that football match that was played that day. Even my son, even my son played. So it was not just the Igbos. We saw people from everywhere. That was unity. And I saw that, I said, look, let's build on this that our people, the foundation that our people have laid. So what, even the cultural carnival is, is your show. We only build on what you have already started. And if you remember, when I called the first meeting, after when I said there that, look, we can take this to a higher level. And I called the meeting, I told everybody. And I said, please, this is just an idea that came when I went to, this, to, to that event. But I don't want it to be my own idea because I don't want to go with it. I want you to take ownership of it. I want it to be your own event. I will just be the facilitator. I will be behind you to direct. I will take the lead. You people will come so that when I leave here, it will not be with me. It will continue because it's your own event. Whoever comes, you will tell him that look, we have this thing that we started some years ago and we want it to continue. So he will ask you, oh, how do we do it? Then you people will be the one to teach him. Not him coming to teach you because you've been part of it for the past few years. I'm going to leave next month. This May, he's going to arrive possibly before the end of May. And I'm sure uh, he will try his best too. He's a very sociable person too. Very amiable person, very open person. And uh, of course, I'll be there also to brief him on what we do here. You people should please give him the same support that you have given me while I was here. And also one thing I want to ask you people, please, all we have been able to do, the unity that has come back, please, we all have a responsibility to ensure that that unity does not. Please, let's all continue to work together as brothers and sisters. Nigeria, like the president of Indigo Germany said, nothing is wrong with it. It's the people. And those people, they, they are not going to be there forever. Nigeria will remain for you and I. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope in your country. And I keep telling people, if Nigeria is going to be good, it's not those at home that will fix it. It's those in diaspora. See what happened in Senegal. Those are young people that went to study abroad, that came, started their own party. You know, with Western-oriented education, they've seen how things, should be, how things should be done, and they started it. 
they start educating the people, talking to the people gradually, and today we have what we have there. So we can change things with positive ideas, like-minded people coming together. All the experience we have, we have gotten here, we should use it to back home to develop our country. Don't let us lose hope in the country. And let us also improve. Recently, Dr. Ani and some, I mean, some members of uh, the Catholic professional uh, group came. Let's continue. Let's continue to upscale our skill. You know, don't let us be contented with that little job that we do. There are many facilities here in Germany. Let's take advantage of them. You know, this place from here, I didn't even know you are here. I know you are doing this. This man, I met him recently. In, um, yeah, I went to visit some of our brothers who came here um, in the Air Force Base. They invited me, I went to, to see them. They've been invited, inviting me, there was no time. And recently, I was able to go. I saw some of them here, I don't know whether they are still around. Okay, thank you. So when I went there, I met one of our brothers. He's also just promoted to major now. And he told me about this man. He said, you see this man? He said, I bought a house. Here. And that house, he said, you know us in the U.S., we like big, big houses. Here they have all these small, small... So when I bought the house, I was looking for someone who would model the house for me. And here we don't, we don't, he said, here yeah, they have just one toilet, this is like a big one, plenty, things and all that. And somebody showed me this man. That, and he said, when we first show him to him, he was like, this is a Nigerian guy, are you sure he has the expertise? He said, you try him. That the person who was saying that said, when you walk on my house here, I took him to the U.S. to go and walk on my house in the U.S. And he told me, he said, this same person did everything in the house. He's certified in plumbing, in heating system, in building. He, he said, just one person. So that's what we need. We have done training this. Don't just be contented with that. Multitasking is the order of the day. You can do this, you can do that. If this is not selling again, that is selling, you know? And you never know. Look at, look at what happened in Ukraine, some of our people that came there. You know, some that had skills were able to navigate their way quickly. So please, my brothers and sisters, let's continue to learn. Let's continue to learn still to upgrade our knowledge. And God will continue to bless us. Amen. Lastly, as I'm leaving, I'm not, like I said, I'm still part of this family here. All the associations here. The Igbo Association, the Yoruba Association, even the Awusas. You can see when we started the, the cultural carnival two years ago. The last one, you could see the, the, the Awusa, the Awusa step. We didn't know they were, they, were, they were around. But they came, they had a very good performance. You know? So, please, don't let all these things die. Don't let it die. I'm sure the new Consul General will try his best. And then, by the time he leaves here, too, there will be good testimony. I'm sure. Wherever I am, I'm still, like I said, a member 
of the family here. And the YouTube, I will let, of course, everybody know where I'll be posted to next. And, uh, of course, I will want to welcome many of you, even some of this cultural group. Yes, I will invite them. We will continue this in there. Some of this cultural group, we have to, they will come to perform them. We will teach them in that country, wherever I'm posted to. If I'm not here, wherever I go, we will start this thing and we will teach them how to do it. We will bring the people here who will come and teach them. Thank you so much. God will bless all of you for the love, for the support. Please let's continue to be our brothers and sisters keeper. Let's continue to live in unity. You see, the humanity in us is what matters. Those values of humanity, they are the same everywhere, anywhere. The values of compassion, values of sympathy, of empathy, of care, of love, of support, they are the same. So it's not the people. Stereotype is very bad. Don't say, ah, this evil man, be careful. No. Look at Dr. Ani. He's an evil man. I don't see any Yoruba man who is better than Dr. Ani, <laughs> including me. So don't judge. Don't judge. Don't judge. He's just an example. Everybody here. Everybody here. We are all good people. As long as we have this humanity in you. That's what you should look, look out for in a person. Not where he comes from. Not his religion. Don't write off people. And that thing is affecting us in Nigeria. Don't let us take it to the diaspora where we live. In the diaspora, we need to live one. The unity is key. It's key. Otherwise, all the things we are blaming at all, we are so guilty of it. So please, let's live as one family. I like, I like what we have been doing here. When we do, when we do Igbo thing, I see Yoruba, I see all the Yoruba attending. And when Yoruba is doing, I see all the Igbo attending. You know, the same thing with the Igbo community, the Asian community. Let's continue to give some support to one another. You see, see the broom. If we take every stick of broom, we give everybody one more year. We take the stick and the broom. We take one stick to everybody here. Oh yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's sweep with one stick of broom. Everybody will be doing it. But if you put it together and give it to just one person, what one person will cover will be more than what all of us will have covered. Yoruba will say, I mean, I don't know how to translate that. I mean, okay, it means uh, unity, united is It's not that uh, I don't speak with Yoruba, I'm sorry. It's just that this one is a bit. <laughs> yes. So, thank you so much. Let me finally thank all the organizers of this, the organizers of this event. Because this event is not for us. It's not for, from the consulate. It's the people. I remember the organizing committee, there was Festos, there was Mr. Sonny. Where's Mr. Sonny? Sonny is a wonderful person. Please clap for Sonny. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful person. I know uh, Mr. Bosco used to be jealous. He said, I sent Sonny to you people from our, from our organization to go and represent us. Now he's working for you people. <laughs> he's just a wonderful, he's just a wonderful person. Thank you. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you. 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 you know, I remember when we did the carnival, all the electric car in that bus stop park, he did it. He did it. From the generator, 
You know, he did all the electrical. And he didn't ask for a dime. He didn't ask for a dime. And for this thing, he has been out, he has been everywhere. Please. Thank you, uh, Mr. Sonny. Let me greet your wife too, and your daughter. And all the other members who supported him to organize this. I say thank you. God will continue to honor all of you. God will continue to celebrate you as you have done with me and your family. As I said, we will not know sorrow. We will not mourn anybody. Anytime we hear about each other, it will be a thing of joy, celebration, by God's grace. Thank you. God bless all of you. Yeah.